Nobody gives a shit about your internships. Freshers working 18 hours per day. <laughs> 80% of the billionaires are active on LinkedIn. So I have got replies from the biggest of the people by just doing this. Like in Pesa hai do saal ke. Chodo yaar, dekho karo nahi hoga to job mil jayega sir sir. When are you doing the next podcast? <laughs> <laughs>
right what do i mean by that is start with when you're dming or when you're sending an invitation start with a note mm-hmm. to start with and be, be on point right and give them an intent that you have done research so for you you are a creator so people might know you as a result if someone says hey i've seen your video i've seen this video it's very nice it'll be like yeah one more guy but for most of the people let's say someone who has 2000 followers most of the people who you want to reach out to will have no followers on the linkedin right agar tum usko bologe yaar i saw your last post mm-hmm. it was very insightful thank you so much for sharing right it creates a connection ki yaar the person is not just asking but has also invested his time to understand who i am mm. that's a great starting two is instead of dropping just a message can you shoot a video and send can you do that it takes th- 30 seconds to do it right. so i have got replies from biggest of the people when i was very small by just doing this mm. i just shot videos and shared with them people play videos when you get a video you play video right and when you see intent you get a reply number 3 is no matter how much effort you do people are busy and people don't want to reply the only way to get a reply in that case is follow up follow up is the name of the game follow up till they say don't follow up with me that's what i say people right, right? if you real how badly do you want him to reply how mm-hmm. badly do you want to get in touch with that person give you 100% and 100% being follow up you will get replies and if linkedin is not working for you there's a very good chance the person is not active go beyond of linkedin look for his email there are bunch of tools like hunter snow and all that you can find an email id of the person write a cold email to the person what else can you do not just linkedin right also on linkedin right the biggest problem that i see why people don't get dm don't get replies or any social network for this matter is the fact that i don't know the person who's dming me when i say knowing on social media knowing is not that i know you ishan i have your number i'm texting you on whatsapp mm-hmm. right knowing is top of mind i've seen this guy somewhere right how can that happen for a regular person very simple thing turn on notifications for that user if the user is very important for you if you really want to get a reply from him turn on notifications every time he posts drop a comment adding some value aise ne kuch bhi dal diya great post nahi adding some value once you do it five times no matter who it is it could be kunal shah to someone very small trust me people notice and when people notice you they know you by your picture mm-hmm. and when you get a dm through that there's a very good chance you'll get a reply If you don't get a reply, you always follow up. Right. And here's the thing, not everybody is going to accept you, mm-hmm. right? And that's the reality. So if you're not getting an acceptance from someone, move on to the next one. That is so true. Like currently, yeah. I'm writing my book called as Unicorn Secret, in which we are interviewing unicorn founders. Yeah. And uh, the best thing that we have done is just keep following up with them, like yeah. the PR team, right? Hey, just wanted to check if you got a chance to look at this email, and that actually helped us to get all of these interviews and yeah. you know get to spend time with the founders. Um, you also touched upon cold emails. Yeah. Right? Let's talk about this because cold emails is what got me started with my YouTube channel. That's got cool, my man. first podcast guest. I got my first, first few clients. Guess? So I I just DM'd uh, Variku Angur, mm. right? So I was just like message him a lot. Okay. So every month I I used to email him. I used to say that hey, I love watching your videos. it would be great if you can spare 45 minutes of your time and do a podcast with me i'm having this youtube channel and he used to reply all the time and he used to say i'm busy right now let's follow up next month let's try next month and this went on for 8 months 8 <laughs> oh. months we were just going back and forth uh-huh. and then he was like you're too stubborn let's do this thing <laughs> and that is when it happened that was podcast 1 then we did podcast 2 and did a third podcast as well so so nice. that is how things happened with me varun maya was a similar case raj was also the similar case i used to follow up with him a lot on emails and then he finally gave his number we did a podcast and that is how things happened mm. but you know what are some hacks that you can tell people to effectively cold email mujhe bahut saare log email karte hain some some guy was like i am about to take my life that was a subject yeah right and when i clicked on that the guy was like please give me a job Yeah. Right, and that didn't make sense to me. I I yeah. said this is not the right way to do it. Right. Yeah. And then there are people who are just having some some boring titles, subjects, and they just are asking for something random. So what is the effective way to cold email? Right. Yeah. Give us like a step by step process, like yeah. from getting the emails. Mm. Right. As you said, you can use Rocket Reach, Hunter, other yeah. things. to actually emailing him and following up what do you think yeah about so here's that? the thing right before i go there to the point that you touch based on right a lot of people are trying to over optimize for someone to open the email mm-hmm. that's why i said hey your mom is sick or someone yeah. saying that hey i'm going to die or this is my last email blah 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 all that crap here's the thing uh, email being open doesn't get you to get your outcome right mm-hmm. if someone opens your email doesn't mean the guy is going to reply and do what you want right so this is wrong optimization so here's here's what i think right in terms of cold emailing like you said the step one is always to find the email and it's funny it's incredibly easy to find anybody's email today 
right? There are hundred tools out there. Even if you don't have the tools, like Hunter, Snow, like you said, Rocketry, a bunch of them. You Google and you'll find it. Funnily enough, if I just Google Ishan Sharma email, there's a very good chance I'll find your email on Google only. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? Because someone has put it somewhere. Right. right? Finding an email is an easy job. The other side of the things, let's say you don't want to use any tool. Understand which company the guy works at. Let's say I work at Growth School. You're looking for my email ID. You search for growthschool.io. You'll find a bunch of emails of other people, if not mine. Then you'll know the format of that email. Mm -hmm. The format is, let's say, first name dot last name at the rate, domain name dot com. So you can easily guess. Right. It'll make you five guesses and one of them will be correct. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to find an email. Right? That is one. Two is in terms of what to send now. So there are some rules of thumbs, right, when it comes to cold emailing. One is that be very clear with what you want. Two is that what is the shortest that you can write. No beating around the bush, come right into the point. What is the shortest email that you can write? Because nobody has time. No matter how much effort you put in, if it's a very wrong email, nobody's reading it. Mm -hmm. Three is in terms of, are you able to get the subject line good enough for them to use the email, but not using wrong baits, like your dog has died, yeah. right? That is, there is no way you're gonna get a reply. If you get a reply, you'll probably get banned after that. <laughs> the right subject line has always been short to the point. My best subject line has been high. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's been my best subject line. It works out. It works, right? Because when you say hi, it's not wrong. Right. Right. But, and also there's something called as excerpt that you have to get it right. There is something, the first five, or first around five to eight words of that email can be previewed before someone opens mm -hmm. the email. You have to optimize for that also there. Ah, right? that is new for me. Yeah, because when you open your, look at, look at as an end user, right? When you open your Gmail, what all can you see? You can see the name, you can see the picture, you can see the subject line and you can see a little first line of text. Mm -hmm. That is called as the excerpt. That is a preview text of the email. Optimize that as well. Because I don't open email without reading the excerpt. Mm -hmm. If the excerpt has something else, I just delete the email. Right. Right. So get the basics right. Keep the email short. Two point. Don't put more than one link in the email because the moment you do that, it will probably go to promotions or spam box. Mm -hmm. Two is don't send your cold emails from tools like MailChimp. Please don't. <laughs> a lot of people do that as well. Right. Again, going back to the same story, right? How can you be different from others? Mm -hmm. So if you have to send cold email to 100 people, the approach could be different, but you have to send cold email to 20 people, 10 people, the approach could be different, right? Make it as personalized as possible. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of automation tools which can also automate personalization, but when it comes to 10 or 15, you should focus on understanding who the user is, what will get them to read, what will, what will make them believe that you have invested time in them. That is the only way the person is going to reply and of course, follow-ups. Mm. Follow-up till the death, right? <laughs> I, I truly believe in this and there are a bunch of tools if you want to automate the sequence also. There are tools like Lemlist, MailShake, if you want a free tool to send up to 50 emails, there's something called as Gmas, uh, which, can, which works via Mail Merge and it works beautifully well as well. Mm -hmm. So all of this, right? Now, when I think about this, I get a lot of cold emails these days, right? And the ones that I actually spend time on, if there's a video, I always get it hooked to it. Right. A very interesting tool that you can make video of is Loom.com, Loom. right? Just record your screen and take one minute. The advantage of Loom is also that you also know who watched the video, right? Because right. it'll show you if someone has watched the video, that is one. Two is in terms of just an image, right? Anything which has personalization on top of it, right? Something like YouTube channel that open and you put a picture like this. It takes yeah. you a second to do yeah. it. But it just shows extra effort and intent. Mm -hmm. and the person is actually going beyond of others. Koi bhi email dikh sakta hai. Aap alak kya kar rahe ho. Mm -hmm. Effort and intent has to be there. Yeah. And keep following up. And I'll tell you one very interesting hack. I also send cold emails even today. Sometimes I get replies, sometimes I don't. My last, my give up email is this. Hey, I've been trying to reach you out for a while. I understand you must be a very busy person. Just reply me with a no, N O, and I'll stop following up. Most of the times it works the other way around because the moment you see an email of someone asking you to just reply you with a no, you're like, shit, man, the guy has been following for so long. Mm -hmm. Kuch to likh dete hai. Right. No, koi nahi likhte hai. Right. Nobody says no. <laughs> they either say, hey, sorry, man, didn't happen, or two is that they send a calendar link saying, okay, sorry, I've, been, ca I've been held up, uh -huh. so happy to block out some time. Right, right. So ask, force them to take an action. Mm. That is very important. Right. Effort is very <coughs> important. All the people that I've hired and have been working for a long time at MarketUp, all of those have sent an email mm. and they, without even me asking, they've made five thumbnails for my channel. Extra effort. Yes. Couple of videos that they've edited. And they've just shown that thing, ki, I understand the journey that you have been going on. I want to help you, support you and do things better. See, you're touching based on a very important point here. That is proof of work. Mm -hmm. That is what I have built Growth School on top of. Yeah. Our intent here is, 
इफ यूर रीचिंग आउट टू समन ऑन लिंकड इन और कोल्ड ई मेल और एनी प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर दैट मैटर वॉट यू शुड शो फॉर देम टू बी एक्साइटेड अबाउट इज योर वर्क दैट इज प्रूफ ऑफ वर्क right that you are capable of doing x like the guys who did it with you right like let's say if you are a very good developer show them a couple of projects or a couple of apps that you have built rather than talking about the fact that i'm from this college and right. you know i've done internship nobody gives a shit about your internships frankly it depends on what you have done in your internship and again saying is one showing is second mm. so if you're sending an email with an intent to get a job if the intent is to get a consulting gig or whatever that is send your proof of work and make let your work speak let's talk about the people that you hired at growth school what traits did you look for when you made sure that okay this is a person that i want to work and work in my team right because yeah. people who are getting who are freshers who are just going into their own life of working in a company right mm. what should they look out for what skill is it like public speaking is it you know growth mindset what what exactly should they be going for So here's the thing right uh, I really love working with freshers it's the irony that I look forward to hiring more freshers smart freshers and here are few things that I look for them right look in them one is the ownership mindset mm-hmm. who is this guy is this guy who I have to micromanage follow up 100 times or is this guy or girl someone who I say once they do it and the way I look at this is we give an assignment if someone with anyone if you have to follow up we are not following up it's over done mm-hmm. that is what ownership is all about right you're given something are you doing it at or not right. two is intent over degrees we actually don't look at degrees at all we don't look at resumes at all we look at why is this person wanting to work for growth school every company wants people who are their raving fans mm-hmm. or people who really believe in what they are doing and that is extremely important for me to work with anybody is this intent there is he going to work extremely hard to make things happen here and there are a lot of traits to look at it again right when you when you talk to them when you give them uh, situations in terms of what would you have done this versus that one situation that i keep asking people is let's say tomorrow you have worked for 6 months here tomorrow something goes down and i cannot pay you for 6 months will you work or leave right. most of the people will say where well, i'll work but that's not true mm-hmm. right the second question that i ask is how will you live agar paise nahi hai right to tu zinda kaise rahega like how are you going to run the show mm-hmm. so that also kind of validates a lot of things right there right to is very strong intent mm-hmm. and like i said right like we ask question very tough questions like this the other question that we ask for intent that they really want to work for this place or not is by is a question that we ask to everybody is that hey what was your last pay or what is your existing offer a lot of freshers come with existing offers someone says okay my cpc 6.5 lakhs i can only pay you 5 lakhs will you come will you be are you willing to take a pay cut to join us mm-hmm. that shows me intent not that they have to what are they saying are they okay with it even budging about this again mm-hmm. that shows me one more thing right three is in terms of learnability how soon can you learn so our assignments for freshers also revolve around the fact we ask them what all do you know I said this, 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 and this. We said this is what you have to do. I know you don't know this, so go figure out and do it for us. Because as a fresher, you don't know shit, right? What you think you know is basically very basic. It's not useful. But do you have the ability to learn? Mm-hmm. Is what is important. If someone says that hey, I tried a startup and this is the website. This is what we tried to do. Doesn't matter how bad the idea is, how good the idea is. Have you done something? beyond this shows a person who is willing to go beyond of what is expected to us. Mm-hmm. We want hustlers. we want people we want doers people who can do stuff right these are some signs and i think if you're able to tick these boxes you will fit into any startup mm-hmm. i can't talk about corporates but i can tell you for a fact you will fit into any good startup you know talking about uh, communication skills software engineers or people from engineering colleges especially struggle with that mm. right and as you said it's not really important for your organization but like for people who really want to you know articulate their thoughts and doesn't matter english or hindi right but still they want to communicate better what would you advise them how can they get better at it you know there is this very simple thing that you have to start with mm. instead of writing text start sending voice notes mm. you have to fix yourself one on one with people who you are comfortable with right articulation problem the problem while a lot of world and this this generation has a articulation problem is because we speak less text more mm. swap it start sending voice notes that is one second is it comes with practice across right second is when you going out with friends or you know we're going out for events start talking to people one on one go to networking events and start talking to people start interacting with people that's the next step right in terms of how you go the third step is if you're in college if you're in groups how can you lead projects together and start talking to 10 people not mm-hmm. one 
and once you are able to do these three check boxes right trust me it's going to be faster than you think it is because it's a very confident driven thing not that you're not capable you are capable you just think too much that you're not capable mm. once you do this two three things automatically you pick up communication skills right the b- biggest thing that you can do to improve your communication is by communicating there is no other way around it mm-hmm. no course no program no book nothing can help you solve no your school workshop nothing <laughs> absolutely not absolutely not right right it's a skill that you'll get better at mm-hmm. a program a book can give you direction mm-hmm. can give you a step by step process everything that you get out of it is based on how you execute mm-hmm. execution is the most underrated superpower right. i keep saying this right right right, right? because I knowledge is out lot. there knowledge to, is out there mm-hmm. huh. to my to my audience that look at my first video and i have purposefully not made deleted that it. video unlisted or deleted yeah. because i want to see people how i was when i started in 2020 and how I, how i have grown yeah and that will give them perspective ke acha theek hai one year two years at max is what it really takes yeah. for them to improve their communication skills dude i mean go watch any youtuber's video yeah. go watch my way. it's the same story you get better over time mm-hmm. i can't watch my first videos anymore like i was like how was i even putting this out there <laughs> <laughs> right, I would laugh at myself. I'm sure it's the same case with you. That is a sign of growth. Yeah. Let's talk about the hot topic on hot LinkedIn, topic. which was uh, freshers working 18 hours per day. <laughs> What do you think about it? Is uh-huh. it worth it? Like, should freshers really be working 18 hours per day, or do you think it's more important to focus on smart work than hard work? Yeah, smart work is overrated uh-huh. because when you don't know what to work, how will you work smart right. to start with? So here's my take on 18 hours a day. I think there's nothing wrong with it, but. what 18 hours is i don't know about the author but according to me what works is the idea is that you give your 100% it's not 18 hours it's not 20 hours it's not 15 hours it's not 12 hours the idea is how much effort are you putting in that is what will define you to become who you are and when we talk about 15 hours 16 hours 18 hours right one important thing that you have to also understand is when we say 18 hours when when someone says 16 hours they're not talking about you doing a job for 18 hours right they are talking about you putting that effort of x number of hours so that you can go ahead of time and these side projects i've i've created an e-commerce site ran that for 6 months made mm-hmm. money shut it down didn't enjoy it i started a blog like buzzfeed that scaled to millions of users found it learned something shut it down i got into robotics i did home automation i kept giving talks Right. I started towards the end of uber my side hustle was online course i launched the instagram course mm-hmm. then i launched the linkedin course that linkedin course eventually flipped into linkedin workshop and today linkedin workshop was the first point of growth school to start right. this is what we mean by effort mm-hmm. right it's not that you're working in a job for 18 hours you're putting in all the time that you can to learn and grow and coming to your point of smart work bhai abhi to pehle kaam karo grow karo right. uske baad smart work kar lena baad mein jab kaam nahi kar paoge hmm. right you agree not agree is in your hand mm-hmm. like this is to everybody who's watching this right you want to agree you don't want to agree is in your hand but the only differentiator between you and 5000 other people is going to be the amount of effort that you put in mm-hmm. makes sense let's talk about productivity hmm how do you stay productive throughout the day as you are leading growth school you are hiring people you're focusing on the long term view how do you make sure that you are getting things done and not you know going in circles being distracted with other things yeah uh, i was very underproductive not underproductive underplanned mm-hmm. i was a very unorganized guy i still am to an extent to be very frank because i thrive i'm a guy who thrives in chaos you know what i mean mm-hmm. i want i like chaotic environment i i like madness so i can go around and figure it out but the basic things that i started to follow one is that you have a very clear shutdown time and wake up time right that we have started to do right now it has helped immensely uh, quite frankly to is plan your day uh, we not just me all sort of growth school we follow a daily planner which is transparent across every teams so you can see what is tech team is working on today tech team can see what is sales team is doing today or support team is doing today that way you know what has to be done and you're making sure that these things are done before your day is ending mm-hmm. that in itself will bring you into the zone ki yaar ये सब करना था नहीं कर रहा हूँ आई एम स्लोइंग डाउन आई एम फास्टिंग अप सो यू कैन प्लान योर डे अकॉर्डिंगली सो यू आई वी यूज टूल्स लाइक नोशन थ्री इज क्विक ब्रेक्स राइट इफ आई फील एग्जॉस्टेड एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई टेक अ क्विक फिफ्टीन मिनट ब्रेक अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल ऑल्सो टेक अ क्विक पावर नैप राइट इन ऑफिस दैट्स नॉट पॉसिबल एटलीस्ट वी डोंट हैव अ नैप नैप पॉट्स येट 
but a quick 15 minute break of going up drinking coffee or just being to yourself not thinking actually helps quite a lot right. that help actually gives you your energy back mm -hmm. right this is one thing that helps quite a bit and i also have constant reminders uh, where if x amount of time has elapsed and i have not done something i get a reminder mm -hmm. and this can be done on slack right right so these are few things that help me keeps organized because i also have a quite a long day in the office i don't like to take external meetings mm -hmm. so i take those meetings inside at my place at my home so that way i have to organize a lot of things there but keep it simple a lot of people will say yaar chart banao ye ye bright as in matrix all that all that is great <laughs> right. but most of us are not there yet most of us i don't know like how your day goes i don't think i've got to a point ki yaar main itna mere ko itna over prioritization karna hai yeah basically i have a day mm -hmm. i have all these things to be done how can i make sure i'm getting all of these things done mm -hmm. that should be your agenda and if you're not able to finish it today don't end your day till you finish it mm -hmm. the moment you do this for a week or 10 days right you'll automatically become productive mm -hmm. that's my way i think uh, people of my age struggle a lot with prioritizing things yeah right like sometimes i have a video to put out then i have a client meeting to get market up i don't know how to prioritize things then i talk to a friend of mine hmm. based one hour not exactly based but i spend one hour over there yeah. and i'm like you oh, should i need to upload a video as well <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot to me uh. does that happen to you as well and if so how did you used to be it happens to me quite a lot mm -hmm. but like i said right i have a goal to get my stuff done by end of the day right or is that goes into the next day mm -hmm. and i hate it so that just makes sure that I'm pushing myself to get it done today. See, here's the thing, right? The reason why I don't like over-optimize stuff is the fact that you lose out on a lot mm -hmm. when you do that. Especially as a early person, young in your career, young startup. In all these perspectives, right? It's very important for you to thrive in chaos mm -hmm. because if something is happening, if some conversation is going on, that could be something that could game change right. your startup or your mood. You should be part of it, even if it is not part of your calendar. Mm -hmm. or even if it's not not part of your plan yeah. so it's absolutely fine mereko ye lagta hai ki ye jo procrastination hota hai na procrastination isiliye hota hai because people think yaar ye to bahut chota hai kar lenge towards the end anything that can be done like 3 4 minutes get it done right away don't delay it chota ho bada ho jo bhi ho 5 10 minute mein ho raha khatam karo usko right that has also been very very handy it was a quick meeting and i see the person being available i just ping him on slack no calendar booking and all that are you available for 5 let's go grab we'll sit here chat and move because getting done calendar block and it's 30 minutes jata hai uska uh -huh. and i think it's good to be unorganized even rakesh junwala used to say this growth comes from chaos yeah absolutely i was curious what was the catalyst that made you focus on growth school full time and leave your work at cluk and uber because you know many people are thinking of an idea to start they're also in a, in a full time job and they think yeah, what is the right time for them to quit it and focus on mm. on their work full time so how should they approach it here's my take Okay I'll tell you how what happened with me also but what happened with me is a not a template that you can apply and I'll tell you why also right here's my take if you have a great idea don't don't leave your job yet mm -hmm. okay start working on it as a side hustle like i said you are working at your job for 40 to 50 hours a week you can easily take 30 hours more to work on your side hustle mm -hmm. build a very lean product understand users first of all use no code tools there's webflow there's bubble there are 150 other tools which you can learn in a weekend and build your mvp do this while you're working in a full time job reach out to users see if users really want this product see if you are able to get some pre sales so there's one interesting hack that you can do i've i've recommend this to a lot of people i've done this in the past is you don't have a paid product yet 100 people said i'd be interested in this product you tell out of those 100 people you tell them that next week the product is launching the price will be 100 rupees per month If you pay today, you'll get it for fifty fifty rupees for life. Right. Per month for life. Mm -hmm. Your grandfathered. The price is grandfathered. How many people are actually buying it? Mm -hmm. Now let's say thirty people or forty people buy. Great validation. Refund them back money, saying that hey, the product is not live yet. But when the product comes live, I'll give you for free for life. Ah. Because you're my first validator. Right. But that's true validation. But the moment you send a pricing link, and nobody out of hundred people actually buy, then you don't have a product. Mm -hmm. You should not build on this product. So these are few things that you can validate it. A lot of people might say, "Web of this is wrong." Mm -hmm. Yeah, product name नहीं बना, बेच दिया. Right. पैसे भी तो वापस दे रहे हो. Uh huh. Yeah, this is validation 101, right? And don't go to family and friends to get validation. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong place to go. Once you're validated, start working on the MVP, which is usable, which people can pay. दूसरा चीज़ है कि when should you take the bait? Right. If you have enough people to buy. So here's my thing there are two ways don't leave your job until you have 6 months of runway 
in your life ideally i would say one one and a half years i gave it up when i had two years not one of those people ki aap dekh lenge kya hoga itna bhi stud nahi ho itna bhi thoda risk averse hu right right come from middle class family do and that's the reality right, right. runway hona hai paise hai ki nahi agar paise hai then you also have to see agar paise hai to before you take the bait right the two ways of looking if you're running a service kind of a business then are you making at least 50% of the salary minimum before you take the bait but if you're running a business which is tech enabled wahan to paise aane ke liye 3 saal lag jayenge are you able to get some angels to write a check angels not vcs are you able to get a co-founder to leave his job as well with you right some form of external validation is important and that is a little aggressive if you're able to do these things again that's a great validator hmm. right बट ये सब भी नहीं है लेकिन पैसे हैं दो साल के छोड़ो यार देखो करो नहीं होगा तो जॉब मिल जाएगा फिर से <laughs> ये बिंदा एटीट्यूड चाहिए लाइफ आई मीन सी आई टेल यू इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ कॉन्फिडेंस हाउ कॉन्फिडेंट यू आर व्हेन आई वाज एट ऊबर आई वाज मूविंग टू क्लूक आई वाज वेरी अंडर कॉन्फिडेंट आई वाज थिंकिंग कि यार डू आई नो समथिंग और डिड आई गेट लकी ऊबर ग्रू सो आई आल्सो ग्रू व्हाट इफ ऊबर वाज नॉट आई मीन रॉकस्टार कंपनी वुड आई हैव ग्रोन एज मच एज आई डिड सो आई हैड दिस सेव डाउट अगर तू वो टाइम में बोलता वेब ऑफ जॉब छोड़ के स्टार्टअप कर मैं शायद करता नहीं बट वेन आई जॉइन क्लूक इन वन ईयर वी स्केल द बिजनेस रियली फास्ट दैट सेल्फ डाउट वॉट वैलिडेटेड क्या तेरे को आता है यू नो दैट्स वाई यू आर एबल टू स्केल क्लूक राइट दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट देन वेन आई रियलाइज किया मुझे कुछ करना है वैन आई लेफ्ट क्लूक आई डेंट नो वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू डू आई डेंट हैव एन आइडिया दैट्स वाई आई सेट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉप आई डोंट वॉन्ट पीपल टू ड्रॉप एलेस टू दिस आई डेंट नो वॉट वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू स्टार्ट अप बट आई वॉन्टेड टू स्टार्ट अप बट आई हैड टू टू ईयर्स ऑफ सेविंग्स इन माई अकाउंट सो आई सेट दो साल का ट्राई करते हैं कुछ नहीं हो पाया तो जॉब तो मिल जाएगा इतना कॉन्फिडेंट तो हूँ मैं दैट्स वेर आई टुक द बेट एंड पैंडमिक ऑल्सो हैपन लॉर्ड ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स किक डेन बट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ पीपल दिस माइट नॉट बी द राइट थिंग टू डू राइट कपल ऑफ मोर क्वेश्चन सो एज यू रन अ कंपनी दैट टीच इज पीपल अबाउट स्किल्स एंड अप स्किलिंग दैम सो वॉट इज एन इफेक्टिव वे टू अप्रोच अ स्किल लेन टू कोड और अबाउट लर्न अबाउट ब्रांडिंग मार्केटिंग you know content strategy so if i want to learn something effectively what is the right approach according to you for anyone the right way of learning is by not learning but by doing mm-hmm. so we keep saying this spend 30% of your time in picking up the skill use the other 70% which is very important by doing mm-hmm. here's the thing right lot of people try to learn a lot of things youtube video dekh liya excited ho gaya lagta hai aapko aata hai mm-hmm. actually reality hai aapko kuch nahi aata hai aapko lagta hai aapko aata hai for example i'll give you an example of google or facebook ads you look at the panel and say oh five clicks and now i'm a digital marketer you're not boss or learn how to use figma and become a designer you're not you have to do once you do you realize all the block holes there right. now you'll be like webo mein kya karunga mm-hmm. what will i do how will i do who will i do the work on right. that comes down the fact yaar aap internship kar lo if you're a student if you already have a skill and you have some level of proof of work you can always reach out to a small startup and say i want to do this i can help you out thoda consulting gigs kar lo that is also one more thing especially as a developer you can pick up so many side projects i mean look at netflix and say i want to build netflix mm-hmm. high level of netflix who stopping you from doing that what do you need for that okay. if you're a designer you say i'll redesign linkedin based on what i think is the right thing mm-hmm. if you're a marketer start a blog it's not going to cost you any money right. start a youtube channel mm-hmm. start do social media what is this is proof of work learn do learn do learn do that's the way and that's what we do at growth school as well uh-huh. you learn and you do stuff right, right, right and we get other people to review your stuff mm-hmm. so you have validation again so here's the last question if you were in my shoes what question would you ask me about something oh <laughs> when are you doing the next podcast <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Awesome talking to you, Vaibhav. Thank you so much for taking out the time for doing this. What did you think about it? कैसा लगा आपको? मस्त है यार. Chilled out था. First podcast था. What advice would you have for me as a some as someone who's dropped out of college, who's building something, no, and doing YouTube as well? Dude, I think I think you're heading in the right direction, right? I think you're spending a lot of time with the right people, and I think that's very very important. I wish I was as lucky as you are. I would not say lucky. uh i wish i was in your position i know there's a lot thing lot of things to be done mm-hmm. right and luck i don't think you've been lucky or anybody else has been lucky right but you're in a great position right now because of a lot of stuff that you've done leverage it uh, speak with as many people as you can yes. right because i also truly believe that to do saal mein kuch startup karega mujhe lagta hai ye right mujhe nahi pata the bas idea hai ki nahi mujhe to lagta hai to karega and jab kar raha hai mujhe batana i'll definitely. be the first guy to write a check definitely would love to yeah Awesome thank you so much awesome man